Okay, now you can go. Okay. So, you guys know... Okay, this is tissue paper and cotton. What's this made of? Flash paper. <laughs> no, what's the made of? What is it? Cellulose. Cellulose. Uh, cellulose. I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> so, cellulose is a plant polymer. And you guys already know what that looks like. So, you burn cellulose. It's flammable. But, it's more fun when you add nitro groups to it. So, what you can do is you can treat the stuff with. Um, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, and the nitric acid, uh, what it does is it adds nitro groups to the cellulose. And anytime you do that, it becomes more flammable. So if you know uh, TNT, it's tri nitro toluene. They take a toluene molecule and you add three nitro groups to it. And so the more you nitrate stuff, the more flammable it becomes. So I thought it would be kind of fun to show you what nitrocellulose is. Something I think it's kind of fun to play with. Uh, yeah, these have nice rooms. Holy! So these are more uh, fun to play with. So, wow. How is this? There's also other things you can do. Um, it's usually a, a metal additive you can add, and it kind of has the same effect that you'd see on fireworks. It just brings the metal while you're, while you're doing it. Uh, so, so that could be like disappearing. So, uh, it burns cool. so hot and so efficiently. It's very it's clean. Like That's really cool. Like 0.001% ash. Little teeny speck. Wow. Oh, it's nice. So did you add nitrogen? No. I, I tried mixing some of my own, but it's, it's not as good as some uh, I can find. Oh. So. Pretty cool. This is the cotton that's in the cotton. The cotton is very flammable. This is actually... Uh, a lot more expensive. This is a dollar eighty-eight a gram. Where these are like twenty-three cents a day. So this is. Uh, I have another little piece here, but keep your eyes posted. <laughs> oh, whoa! So it goes up very fast. It's awesome. And so that's the nice picture. This is pretty cool. Yeah. I don't recommend holding that. <laughs> This is like, flash before my eyes. Flash before my eyes. People in the front row. No, no, you know it's your eye thing. That's really awesome. Wow. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. So that was about 0.6 grams. So at home I have about 40 grams. And I have to be careful where I keep it. Otherwise it will catch my desk on fire. That wouldn't be good. And then obviously you can tear them up in little pieces. Major. One of my majors. It's really fun, actually. It's really cool. Yeah. He's uh, a major now, a mad scientist, right? <laughs> mad scientist, yeah. Where, where do you get this? Uh, you can buy it. They use this, they use this in pyrotechnics, so they use a lot in the theater for, for shows, like, especially with magic. Look, uh -huh. that's really cool. That's what I just wanted to show you guys. It's so fun. But, uh, here we can see that the cotton is normal. It leaves residue. So anytime that you see that residue, that's carbon. And that, that indicates that there's carbon monoxide being released. So the carbon deposit comes with the carbon monoxide. So that you can see that the other stuff runs through. So. That's pretty cool. It was actually discovered, uh, nitrocellulose was discovered when a guy was uh, doing chemistry in his kitchen and went to clean up his nitric acid that he spilled in the uh, oh. rag. Ah. He put it over the oven to dry, and when it dried, it got oh. it wow. up. Wow. So, uh, they used to make old movie reels out of the, uh, the same material. Uh, you can imagine in a hot projector that, that can be a fire hazard there. with all the reels in that little room, and so there would often be fires in movies. Wow. And uh, the fire department has actually done some research on putting out fires started by nitrocellulose. And, uh, what they did is they incinerated some of it and stuck it under water and, and it continues to burn the ashes to oxygen. So uh, once you start it, well, until it's gone, <laughs> but once you start it, you may yeah, <laughs> it be careful it's enough to not just melt steel, but actually combust. I don't know what temperature it gets up to, but in order to ignite that, you have to have it at 320 degrees. That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, I just wanted to show you. Like a mini Nice. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, I'll leave your spot.
Still so, uh,